Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you a very instructive chess game. This is the game between Nicholas Peart and Simon Kim Williams that was played in Hastings in 2008. Hastings is a town in England. In this game, Peart had white pieces and he started with d4. Williams played knight to f6, knight to f3, c5, in style of Benoni d5, b5, and if c4 is played, we would have standard Benko Gambit. White wanted to avoid Benko Gambit and played bishop to g5, attacking knight, and black played queen to b6, avoiding doubling of pawns if bishop takes knight. Another interesting variation is bishop to b7, bishop and knight are attacking pawn on d5, so white would capture knight, pawn takes bishop, e4, queen to e7, attacking pawn on e4. Queen to e2 is playable, but this is interesting variation, bishop to e2, queen takes pawn, knight to c3, bringing knight in the game with tempo, attacking queen. And after queen to f4, bishop takes on b5, and white is better. And going back to our position again, and there is yet another try. Instead of queen to b6, queen to a5 is very interesting variation. This is check. c3, knight to e4, attacking bishop, bishop to h4, and bishop to b7. And this looks like a good try for black. Going back to our game. Queen to b6. a4. Tempting black with poisoned pawn. Black took the bite. Queen takes on b2, attacking knight. Bishop to d2. Threat is rook to b1. Queen to b6 was played e4, threat is e5, d6, white played e5 anyway, attacking knight, pawn takes on e5, knight takes on e5, and e6. Black is two pawns up. It is white to move, and white has more than one good move in this position. What would be your move in this position if you had white pieces? Taking pawn is possible. Even better is bishop to b5 check. In the game, queen to f3 was played. Queen is eyeing rook on a8. And black played queen to c7. Perhaps better was a6, taking control of a b5 square. We have queen to c7, bishop to b5 check. And how should black respond? He played king to d8. What's wrong, for example, with knight from b to d7? Then we would have this continuation. d6, attacking queen, bishop takes on d6, bishop takes knight, and if, for example, bishop takes on d7, Queen takes rook. This is just one variation to show you why black played king to d8. Knight to c4. That is d6. Bishop to d6. Bishop to g5. A pinning knight. Rook to f8. It is white to move. What would you play in this position if you had white pieces? I thought that rook to d1 is a sensible move, but white cancelled. That is also a sensible move, but I thought at first that king would not be safe, but king is safe. And rook is lined up with black king, and that means black is in big trouble. Bishop to b7, attacking pawn on d5. 
knight to e4 attacking bishop on d6 and knight on f6 bishop takes on d5 knight takes on d6 knight on c takes on d6 queen takes on d6 if knight takes queen bishop takes queen so white captured bishop with rook if pawn takes knight takes queen so black recaptured with queen and now rook to d1 queen is pinned black unpinned but rook captured queen knight takes on d5 check and after king to b7 queen to d6 was played and black resigned queen is attacking rook and next move will be also knight takes on c5 check so black resigned and now we are going back to move number 10 in this position black is two pawns up but is it worth it you can be the judge and that is all i hope that you enjoyed watching this video i wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now